Okay, so come here, Sophie. Yes, receive. There you go, turn around, back. Hong Kong's never been in the World Cup before. They've always come maybe third or fourth in the Asian Championship. Uh, so this will be a, a major sort of step for Hong Kong in terms of netball. Go. Hi, my name is Shirley. I'm a secondary PE teacher at Kellett and I play netball for Hong Kong. So it's called the Asian Netball Championships and it's uh, a yeah, World Cup netball qualifying event. If we qualify or if we come top two in the championship, we'll be off to South Africa next summer. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's definitely you know, a massive motivator. Excellent, exactly. Does that make sense? When I was 10, I was shipped off to the UK for boarding school. And obviously netball is a sport that's very popular in the UK. So that's when I first started playing. Um, and I've not stopped ever since, apart from when I had kids, but I've not stopped ever since. Run right up to her back and then you come out. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think my goal has always been to get back into the squad or stay on the squad for as long as possible uh, whilst having a family and obviously a full-time job and sort of building my career as an educator. Uh, I definitely have had to overcome a lot more sort of psychological challenges more than physical. I think after having my second child, um, I sort of learned how my body would handle everything. So then I worked on my own program, like a fitness program. But a lot of the challenges now at my age, at this level, it's in, it's in my head. Because of what I've been through, I'm more aware of how I coach. So I try to learn, you know, how each and every single one of them are different, how they might learn differently, uh, how they prefer to get feedback, what kind of language or words to use. So that's definitely something that I try to do as a coach. In terms of what I teach them, I think it's to just remember they're there for a reason and that they need to first back themselves no matter what. Uh, and then when they get on court, if they make a mistake, it is really difficult and it's easier said than done. It's to get over it quickly or get it back for the team to play for each other. The um, sort of motivation behind a team sport is you're playing for each other. So I think that's definitely one of the things that I would like to be able to teach them and coach, during, coach them during trainings. <laughs>